Hi, I'm Bill Vilberg. This is part of the iClicker training at the University of Miami. This section is on using iClickers in class. You should have the UMBB iClicker folder either for Windows or Mac, either on your desktop or on your flash drive. I want you to find it. I want you to open it up. Inside that folder, you should see an iClicker program. We used this when we were configuring the iClicker program. And I need that one opened up. I'm going to turn off the always ask before opening this file. And I'm going to open it. And you can see that it has the course that I created the last time. If you're using the iClicker with multiple courses, there may be more than one here. And first you'll want to select the course that you're currently in, that you want to use the clickers in. And then you click Choose. That opens the iClicker window. I've already done the settings and preferences, so I want to start a session. The only thing that happens when I start a session is up here in the left hand corner I get a box with a start button and a display button. The start button if I click it or if I press the start button on the blue instructors eye clicker begins a polling of the students. You can see the clock is counting upward as to how much time I've given them and on the right side you'll see a number as I vote with some clickers there's one vote has come in there is a vote there is a vote and there's a vote so we've got four votes that have been recorded there are only four people in this class wouldn't it be nice so I can stop either by using the mouse and clicking on the stop button or by using the stop button on the blue eye clicker and then I can display the results using either dis the display button or the hide display graph button on the blue eye clicker. This shows me that on this question 25 percent said A, there are only four votes so that's two, 50 percent said C, and 25 percent said D. That's it. I can do what I want to with that. I can have the students talk to each other before voting again. I could have had them talk to each other before voting the first time. Or if I'm actually assessing them, I can just move on. You can use this before covering some content to see how well the students know it, or after covering the content to see if they've learned it or if more work is necessary. I can start and stop as many questions as I want. Each time I start, it's a new question. Each time I stop, that question ends. And when I close iClicker, yes, I have ended that session. If I close it by mistake, I can always open iClicker, choose my course, and use this resume last session to continue on in the same session. Sessions are marked by date. So that's how you use iClicker to get student responses in your class. The next session will be on iGrader and using it to synchronize student names with their iClicker numbers. See you then.